This is question number nine and it carries four marks. We're told ABC, PQR and AQD are straight lines. ABC is parallel to PQR. Angle BAQ is equal to 35 degrees. Angle BQA is equal to 90 degrees. We're asked to work out the size of the angle marked X. We're asked to give reasons for each stage of our working. As again with all of these questions, there's lots of different approaches. The first thing I'm going to do is write that this angle here is going to be 55 degrees. So we're asked now to give a reason. So what I'm going to state here now is that angle, and I'm going to use the notation for angle, we can say that angle ABQ will be equal to 55 degrees. So that is my first statement here. And the reason now is that angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees. So angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees. So angles in a triangle sum to 180. So that now is the first part done. Let's now look at what we can do from here. We've got lots of different choices. I'm going to say now that A, B, C and P, Q, R, so these are the lines, are parallel. So I'm going to write in now that they're parallel. As a result, what I can say from this is, and I'm going to write therefore, I'm just using my therefore sign, we can say that angle A, B, Q will be equal to angle X because they are alternate angles. So because they are alternate or Z angles. If you're going to write Z, make sure you're backing up with alternate because they are alternate angles. So alternate angles. So just writing this in. So they're alternate angles. So we can say from this now that I'm writing this here. Therefore, angle ABQ is equal to angle X which is going to be equal to 55 degrees. So that now is my final answer. It's 55 degrees simply because if these are parallel lines, angle ABQ is going to be equal to angle X because they're alternate angles and it's going to give us now a 55 degree angle. An alternative would be to write now the angles on a straight line, sum to give 180. We could find this angle just here, which is angle QBC. And then we could say that QBC and X were co-interior angles and summed to give 180. Yet another possible option. You could also look now at corresponding angles here. So we could have this corresponding angle. This one would be 35. And then we would state, as we have a perpendicular here, this angle, so X plus the 35, must be equal to 90. So many different approaches. You decide, just write it out. Either way round, it's going to be 55 degrees.